Hello all, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing another Elf on the Shelf episode. I am putting together a mini factory and using cardboard boxes from when we went grocery shopping. I wasn't able to add an intro this time because my intro got deleted due to not having enough storage space between my iPhone and my iPad. So I am sorry about that, but for the next Elf on the Shelf episodes, there will be an intro. Um, and so I'm just going in using some regular scotch tape to hold it all together. I didn't want to get too technical with this, um, as it is going to get thrown in the garbage anyway. Um, and here, here I needed an extra piece for the other end of the factory belt. And so I'm just taking that box, cutting it off, and lining it up. I'm um, trying to get the best size um, so that it all matches. And then I'm gonna wrap it in some green polka dot paper and red polka dot wrapping paper. And so, like I said, just using some scotch tape, so which is very weak. Um, but that's okay. Like I said, it's getting thrown in the garbage anyway. So I'm just going to wrap it with this uh, reversible polka dot gift wrapping paper. As if I'm wrapping a gift in some sort. Not really. So I came up a little short. And I talk about me coming up short in my gift wrapping um paper and so I'm just going to use some extra leftover wrapping paper to patch that little back side up um, and then I'm going along the sides to fold in so that um, the rough edges of the sides won't be exposed I'm just taking some tape and then taping down that middle taping it in the middle I'm just covering up those rough sides And then I'll do that all around, or just on the, definitely the back side of the box. And then um, I'm leaving a little flap on the um, front side of the box. And then I still have that little piece in the back that I need to patch up. Although the back won't be shown in the picture, but still, I'll know it's there. <laughs> I'm sorry for my camera angles. I'm still trying to learn this whole recording video thing. So sometimes I'm out of out of the camera completely. Um, so forgive me for that. When I do notice that I'm out of the camera, I do try to um, to fix it. And so I'm just patching up that back calf. And then just want to take a little piece of paper and cover that. Um, my husband is eating mandarin, mandarin oranges um, and has it in the camera. The daily um, shenanigans being a wife. And then I'm just using some scotch tape to... Um, tip up that ex extra piece or both extra pieces like I said nothing too technical because it's going to be thrown in the garbage and typically when I use hot glue I am trying to keep that whatever I use that hot glue, glue gun on whatever I used it for I'm trying to keep that project for a long time this I know that I'm this is going to go in the garbage it's just meant, like, Elf on the Shelves is, like, meant to be quick. And then, like, I've seen some very extravagant ones. Um, but I knew I could knock this one out pretty quickly. So, um, I really didn't take too much time in, like, constructing and thinking about how I wanted it. Um, so this end piece, I put, like, just a solid red there. Not really sure why I did that, but, yep, that's there. <laughs> 
And I'm just wrapping that um, so that I can insert it into the square frame. The frame is like the... So the frame is the machine and then this the long uh, rectangular thing is the belt. So I'm just positioning that right in there. And yeah, that's that. So this is our elf shrinker. And I am using some leftover white and silver rope just to add a little bit more decorations to it um instead of it being plain just adding my flair my own flair to it um i originally got the original idea off of pinterest and um yeah i just wanted to make it my own not exactly how those who posted did it mm -hmm. And so what better way to do the elf shrinker with some large Oreos and some Oreo minis. So I am using some hot glue. My daughter knows not to eat these due to the fact that they have hot glue on the bottom. But I'm putting the hot glue at one end. And then I am taking the Oreo minis and placing them at the other end. Making it look like the big Oreos who went through the machine and got shrunken down to the mini Oreos. So I just undressed Snowflake there from her previous Elf on the Shelf episode. And I am writing a um, banner, Welcome to My Factory, dash Snowflake. And then I'm just... Uh, going in throwing in my own little version of little snowflakes dash stars <laughs> to um, add a little bit more decorations to the machine I'm taking some hot glue and then just putting that sign on the back of the present or the machine I'm sorry and then here you have it Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Vlogmas with a crappy twist. If you have not done so already, please like, comment below any helpful techniques that you have to improve my crafting journey and any how-to projects that you would like for me to do. And please subscribe. Have a happy holidays. Thank you so much.